In this recording, I want to mourn for the African child. For the African child has been deprived of his right to his land by a system that has used fiat money and pseudo technology and pseudo history to deprive the African child of his continent. It's unfortunate that it is the black politician himself. Every black politician that you see walking in Africa is a big sellout. There is not even one. Some may pretend to hate the West, but they say it's so all wearing suits fashioned in the West. They have money in the Western banks. They are just stooges. Every black politician ruling any country in Africa is just a big sellout. There is not even one politician in Africa. You can point it to me and say he is the politician for Africa. There is none. Zero. Zilch. Specifically those that are very vocal against the West are the ones that are top on the CIA list of beneficiaries. They were put in power by the Central Intelligence Agents of America and they are supported by the Catholics, supported by the Jesuits, supported by the Muslim Brotherhood. They are all against black Africa. They are against you black African child. While it is true that Africa is the richest continent, the owner of this inheritance, the Ndebele child, the Tswana child, the Chona child, the Chewa child, the Nyanja child, the Hutu child, the Tutsi child, the Ahamara child, the Acholi child, the Ovambo child, the Herero child, the Mandinga child, the Congo child, the Ashanti child, the Kunu child, the Hausa child, the Soto child, the Zulu child, the Kosa child, the Swazi child, the Tonga child, the Changani child, the Makua child, the Sena child, the Loma child, the Bemba child, the Lozi child, the Lunda child, the Luvale child, the Kawonde child, the Sikuma child, the Gogo child, the Haya child, the Nyakusa child, the Nyamwezi child, the Chaga child, the Luo child, the Yao child, the Tumbuka child, the Katanga child, the Masai child, the Yoruba child, the Igbo child, the Arabi child, the Fulani child, the Akani child, the Dagomba child, the Ewe child, the Burima child, the Mosi child, the Gurundi child, the Sefuno child, the Lobi child, the Bobo child, the Mande child, the Balanda child, the Manjagwa child, the Guru child, the Gorani child, the Zagawa child, the Kanemo child, the Kotoko child, the Ulana child, the Maba child, the Mende child, the Temne child, the Bioko child, the Bubi child, the Mina child, the Kabie child, the Aja child, the Funi child, the Bariba child, the Jola child, the Sarahule child, the Bapunu child, the Nzebi child, the Obama child, the Soninge child, the Bambara child, the Malinge child, the Waya child, the Banda child, the Manja child, the Sara child, the Mbaka child, the Yakoma child, the Oromo child, the Tigrinya child, the Sidamo child, the Garanginya child, the Shengia child, the Kunama child, the Sao child, the Afara child, the Sango child, the Ovimbundu child, the Luganda child, the Basoka child, the Lango child, the Kalenjini child, the Luha child, the Kisi child, the Embu child, the Kamba child, the Nyarandwa child, the Luva child, the Amongo child, the Monokutuba child, the Sanka child, the Wateke child, the Gola child, the Gio child, the Somali child, the Juba child, the Dinga child, the Venda child, the Lingala, and each and every African child I have not mentioned in here is tending an impoverished family's few remaining head of after having left home in the morning upon eating almost nothing or a stale piece of meal left last night on a meagre meal who spent the whole day tending the animals feeding on a depleted white food poisoned air and poisoned waters poisoned by the mount nationals and suffering and coming out on pictures and on television and the newspapers impoverished with the ribs jutting out while least those children of the north those children of the west in america are throwing away heaps and heaps of foods extracted from africa this must be we put this 
squarely on the foot of the black politician and the masses of the black people that are blind and thinking and hoping that any politician is here to solve their problems. It is a shame, really. It is a shame <coughs> to all the politicians. It need not to be like this. While the North, the East and West have become the shareholders to the vast African resources and are living like kings, in expensive hotels and expensive rooms, and many of their descendants are in board meetings or in executive planes, strategizing on how best they can maximize profit from this rich continent. They have put in place every politician you see walk, every, by this I mean every politician, perhaps to look on both sides, both sides of the story. <clears throat> I may just say only Thomas Sankara only Thomas Sankara, when you study African politicians, only Thomas Sankara, and perhaps to a least extent Tom Boy, were and they are the only luminaries that stood for Africa. And perhaps on the list there we may throw in Patrice Lumumba. The only thing that lagged with these three politicians was a strategy. But they had seen the vision. They had, they refused to sell out. The rest, the rest are just a bunch of sellouts. And this we find written, today I've mourned for the African child in this post. Therefore, there is no justification for, Af for the African child, the children of the inheritance of the patriarchs given this land, the richest continent on earth, to continue suffering, to starve or long for any goodies, for surely we have everything under our feet. Look at the civilizations that we built, that our ancestors founded. Look at ancient Egypt. Look at ancient Babylon that was founded by black people, the Sumerians. Look at the Mahanjo-Daro in India that was founded by the black people. Look at the Southern American technologies, the pyramids that, are, that were found by our ancestors. Look at the Chinese wall that was built by our ancestors. Everything that you can name in the ancient times was built by our black people who came out of Africa. And today the African child is oppressed, is killed, is abused by the same politicians that pretend to be for Africa. Every politician, I have named them, every, every one of them, they are big sellouts from South Africa, Zimbabwe, everyone in Zimbabwe, Zambia, Malawi, right up to uh, Bashir, Al-Assad, who is ruling our African country. All these rich, oil rich, Emirates, they are rich because they are in Africa. The oil that fi fires this world is from Africa. All this uh, ISIS, all these fightings and wars in the Middle East, so-called means, are just created by the same force to continue occupying Africa. That's Africa. There is no other continent as rich as Africa. Name it, then I will say, yes, you are right. We are not speaking about snow. No, we are speaking about real mineral wealth. And at the end of it all, the whole planet, the whole globe, the planet Earth belongs to the black man. The planet Earth is for the Africa. The planet Earth, everything called Earth, is for the black man. The circadian, the circadian rhythm of the Earth, compared to many other planets, beats with an African heart. Thank you.